Alright guys, be honest. By a show of hands. That's right. By a show of hands. I can see you, don't lie. How many of you guys got so pissed off before at the world that you just threw your controller when you're playing a video game, you knock over your Xbox, you're driving your car, and then all of a sudden like, some guy pulls in front of you and you're like, you mother! You know, you're screaming at the top of your lungs, despite the fact that there's a window on your side and a window on his side, and there's probably no chance that he can hear you as far as he is down the road. People are crazy. This is actually ludicrous and ridiculous. When I was, like, a little boy, if I stubbed my toe, I might scream out in the world, but you know what's really cool? We as people can choose our responses. Don't get mad about crazy ass things. I, people are notorious for this, like ridiculous. Like my girlfriend, crazy as hell. She'll be driving in the car and she'll be like just piping hot once somebody screws, like, I don't know. I don't exactly know half the time what pisses people off in cars is ridiculous. I don't even know. Well, hello. We as people have the ability to choose our responses. What does that mean? That means if somebody says, hey, you're a freaking idiot, you could be like, thank you. You know, I, I tried my best. And that's, that's the cool thing about it, you know? We don't have to necessarily fall victim to other people's words. Hell no. You know how many times people have this, what the heck is this? We can choose our responses. We can attack the squirrels in our lives, or we can just accept it. But I'm going to attack the squirrel. There's two dynamics of a conversation that you probably never even considered about. One, if somebody insults you or says something completely obtuse, you have the complete and utter ability to respond any way you want. You get to choose your response. You can say anything where along the lines of, I appreciate your words of kindness, to, hey, the weather's really nice, isn't it? But literally, and that's the second part right there. You don't even have to stay on topic. You know, you have no social obligation to have to you uh, respond according to what they want you to talk about, right? I mean, it's not their world, it's our world. We can, it's conversation. One person can't be just talking about something you don't want to talk about at all and then just expect you to answer accordingly. No, hell no, especially if they're insulting you. I can't get upset at somebody if they insult me for two reasons. One, because what kind of low quality person needs to insult somebody, right? It's ridiculous. That's like a homeless person going ahead and saying something along the lines of like, you're a real piece of work. <laughs> really, Mr. Homeless Guy? I'll be in my home in my nice cozy warm bed Well, you'll be de dead in the middle of the street one day. Um, <laughs> but that's the point though. I, I, I treat it kind of like people who are insulting me are kind of like homeless people. Their words are invalid and don't really have any kind of meaning at all. Now, I don't expect you to treat your loved ones like homeless people, you know. This is more or less for somebody you kind of come across on the street, you haven't met them before, or there's somebody who aren't, somebody you really cherish, you know. I would just put them along the same levels as a bum, you know. Their words are meaningless, don't listen to what they have to say, because it's just garbage. Because you're a low quality person, if you're just going to come up to me and start saying random things, you know. Negative things, like that. But, your loved ones, you have a connection with. You know, you're not going to consider your mom to be a homeless person or your, your wife or your husband, you know. These are people who you really care about and their opinion means something to you. But that's when we go into our second point of saying, they're having just a bad day, you know. It happens to a lot of us in so many possible ways that someone's mood can be altered. You know, you didn't get enough sleep that day. Hey, that's going to screw you up. I remember times before where I got a little bit antsy because I didn't have food because I'm very food driven sometimes. Um, I didn't eat for a couple hours and you know I try to keep a very firm schedule on that. But I, then I get a little bit like, whoosh, and you know my face is all flustered and I just can't think straight. There's certain reasons why somebody gets upset. We're not inherently evil. We're not inherently just bad, negative-minded people. You know, there's reasons for everything. So. If somebody insults you, you still can't get upset at it. I mean, I, I, I don't personally get upset at that because immediately I go to, okay, they're reaching out to me. They're obviously upset about something. They're projecting onto me for a reason. I wonder what's on their mind. 
that's the first thing that comes across my mind. If somebody says something that, who I care about, who know me and I know them, if they're being negative, you gotta wonder why are they really upset? Because there's always a reason. They're not negative by you know default. That's just a cop out. That's not how it goes. So with those two models, there's really no need to get upset at anything. You don't need to get upset at your iPod because it malfunctioned because it's ridiculous. You know, it's an inanimate object. And you don't get upset at people who you don't know who are insulting you because their words are meaningless anyways. And you don't need to get upset at people who you love and cherish because obviously they're upset for some reason. It's never another person who makes them upset because, sorry, we got to take responsibilities. If I'm ever upset, it's because I've made myself upset. If you're angry, it's because you've made yourself angry. I can't do that to you, just like you can't do that to me. We have the ability to completely control our responses. I know the audacity of it, right? Woo! It's a bold statement. But no, it's serious. Absolutely. So next time when somebody comes up to you with some loaded phrases, instead of being like, think about why is that person so upset? How can I help this person out? That's all it falls down to. Thanks for watching.